At Nuver, customers frequently ask what an aftercooler does and why we recommend them on the compressors we design and sell. The reason for an aftercooler is simple. Compressing air generates heat, and hot air can hold a lot of moisture. An aftercooler cools hot air coming out of the compressor by using water or air to radiate heat. The air temperature drops, as does the dew point, and the amount of moisture in the air is reduced. Why is high dew point a problem? Because excessive moisture in compressed air damages equipment and shortens filter life. An aftercooler is a simple and cost-effective way to lengthen the service life of your compressed gas system. We will show you two different air compressors. The first one does not have an aftercooler. The second one does. After 30 minutes runtime, here are the temperature readings. Compressor number one without an aftercooler. 247.5 degrees at the compressor block outlet. 232 degrees at the surge tank inlet. 191.5 degrees at the surge tank outlet. And the final air temperature is 177 degrees, which, for most situations, makes the compressed gas unusable, if not downright dangerous. Now with the aftercooler equipped compressor, here are the temperatures. Two hundred and eighty three point five degrees at the compressor block outlet, one hundred and ninety five degrees at the aftercooler inlet, ninety two point five degrees at the aftercooler outlet, ninety two point five degrees at the surge tank inlet, and a final air temperature of 73.6 degrees. In this example, the air-cooled aftercooler reduced the compressor block output temperature by almost 210 degrees. Final air temperature for the compressor with an aftercooler was 104 degrees less than the compressor without the aftercooler, making the final air temperature safe and usable for most applications. Nuver. Worldwide provider of compressed gas solutions.